guys, this is Haley from 101rabbits.com and today I am going to be doing my September cage tour. So I'm really excited for this month's cage tour. As you can see, the cage has changed a lot. So I really hope you enjoy. So we're gonna start off with the left side of the cage where I normally start out. So right back here, we have just two litter boxes. These are actually my oldest litter boxes that I need to throw away. Um, but I got into a situation today where I just had to use my uh, spare litter boxes. Anyways, so then there is some um, paper towel in there. That is just because when I cleaned the cage today, it took me like two hours because I totally redid it. Um, and so they didn't have litter boxes for like two hours, so they peed on the floor, um, which is totally understandable. And so what I did is just soaked it up, put it in the litter box so they know that's where to pee. I have the two hay tubes and right back here is something I've recently started doing. So as you can see my edge around my cage is probably about an inch tall um, and it is like sealed and everything with caulk but um, since it's only an inch tall the bunnies can um, when they pee outside of the litter box it will um, go behind the cage and dribble all the way to the floor. Uh, which is really annoying because it's hard to move the cage and clean behind there. So what I've started doing is placing a towel um, stuck in the crack and then I like just shove the cage into it. So if they pee, it just soaks into the towel. Um, now my rabbits are mostly litter trained, um, but I think it's Lulu. She always likes to pee right outside the litter box. I don't really know why. Um, so I just put that there. And then right down here we just have um, the two water dishes. So now it is time for the major update of the cage. Um, you guys might not be as excited as I am about it, um, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. So pretty much what I've done is I've set, I used to have an NIC condo, um, which is the flooring for this part of the cage, and then this flooring. So when I got rid of my NIC condo, I kept the floors so that I could use it with my current cage. <laughs> Sorry, all the bunnies are sleeping underneath and it's just so adorable. Um, anyways, so that's just from my old NIC condo. So pretty much what I've done is just stuck it on top of this area of the cage so that it kind of creates a condo. Um, so they have a little area underneath to sleep. It kind of feels more secure um, as it's kind of closed in. And then on top, they can just hang out there if they want to. I actually am gonna place um, some beds up there, but I left them in the basement. Maybe I'll go get those. So just a quick side note, I'm really sorry for the bad lighting. It's kind of dark out right now and also um, two of my lights are broken. Um, so yeah, <laughs> anyways, this is the underneath of the cage area. This is actually a little bit less than a grid tall um, in this part. So I wouldn't ever really suggest housing, like if you were making a condo for your rabbit to live in, um, like at night and most of the times, I would not make it only a grid high because rabbits do need to be able to stand on their hind legs. Now my rabbits are free range in a room so they have plenty of spaces to stand on their hind legs and stretch out so um, yeah so this is pretty much more of a hidey house for them like a giant one. So I just have some fleece and um, layers of towels under here and Mocha and Lulu have been pretty much snuggling under there since I finished um, doing the cage. So as you can see, Mocha's like stretched out like Superman. It's so adorable. Then over here, the level actually goes over the top of this corner area um, where the ramp goes down to the floor. And then, and then back in this corner, we just have, um, I don't know if you guys have really seen this besides my um, previous vlog video, uh, but it's pretty much just a wooden um, Heidi house now. I don't know if they're gonna use it because the second entrance is in the corner So they can't really use it um, Rabbits don't always like using Heidi houses that don't have two entrances because in the wild when they create burrows They always have an escape route like um, They have more than one tunnel entering their burrow so most of the times rabbits don't feel safe if they're in that area and can't have an escape route so I don't know if they're gonna use it, but I have a towel in there for them. Normally when they can go out that other exit, they just love this hidey house. Mocha sleeps in it all the time. So I just had to show Lulu. She is so stinking cute right now. She normally never sleeps with her eyes closed. And I know they're partially open, but normally she's like the kind of rabbit who um, 
always sleeps with her eyes open, which rabbits can do. Oh, you woke up. Aww. Did you yawn, baby? Yeah. She is so adorable right now. I'm gonna go show you Mocha. There's Mocha. He is so cute. His face is like smushed to the ground and his ears are just flopped out. He's adorable. And he normally always sleeps with his eyes closed. He's such a chill rabbit. <laughs> and there goes Lulu. She's sleeping again. So now I'm going to show you the top level. So right here is actually a brand new bed that I just made my bunnies. So I will show you what it looks like. So this is what the bed kind of looks like. I've made a bed like this before, which is um, over in the other side of the cage. And um, I really like it. I just got the fabric from um, Joann's. If you guys are on my Instagram, you'd have already seen this. Um, I probably made it a month ago. Um, but they haven't really used it much because I'm trying to, I have it in the basement right now, like trying to um, size it because I made this one too large. So the next one I'm trying to make smaller. Anyways, so yeah, I'm really loving this bed um, and I'm just going to probably leave it in the cage um, until next cage clean so that they can actually use it. So then I just have some baby chains um, over here. And underneath the fleece right here is a memory foam mat. It's actually folded in half because it's too big, so it's like extra squishy. So over on this side, uh, just so you guys know, this whole um, base is a two foot by five foot base. There's Ebony's nose, she's wondering what I'm doing. Um, so this is just some more baby chains. I have so many baby chains, um, but my rabbits really like them. And then this is actually a mat that I just made for my bunnies as well. I started making it to two years ago or a year ago. I know that's really sad and I just finished it now. Um, well, like a couple weeks ago. So yeah, they. I think it's really cute. It has like this frog pattern on the side and then a zebra print on this side. Um, back in that corner is another bed that I've had since like last Christmas or two Christmases ago. I don't know, I've had it for a while. Um, I made that one as well. Um, and then I just have some stacking cups over here. I don't know if you can really see them. And when I'm not um, filming or anything, I also have an NIC grid wall that goes up here, but it's removable for cleaning and stuff. And for video, it's hard to see if there's like a big grid wall in the way. Um, I just have it up there for safety reasons. I really don't think that they're gonna like jump down, but um, just in case, you know, accidents happen. So now on to like the really long part of the cage. Um, there's some baby chains and a baby rattle. Uh, the way they get to this side of the cage now is a little bit different. They either jump on top of this high level and then jump down, which is only 14 inches, it's not that tall. Or sometimes they use the ramp and then jump on that way. And then over here is a uh, maze haven leading up to a uh, willow teepee. So they have tons of things to chew on. Um, they have that willow teepee to chew on. They have this to chew on. This whole log is chewable. Uh, they also have that other hidey house I showed you that's chewable. So they have a ton of things that are chewable, but I would still love to give them like, um, get them some new toys uh, or make some new toys for them because it's been a while. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this cage tour. I know it was very different from last month's and um, actually last month I didn't have a cage tour but um, the month before that. So I hope you guys really enjoyed. I had a ton of fun um, filming this for you guys and I hope to have it up very soon. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon on a new video. Bye! So I'm going to start out where I always do on this area of the cage. So for those of you who don't know, this area is approximately 2 feet wide by 5 feet long.